Hello, there is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the third episode of Living with a Saint series. In today's uh, episode, I'll be talking about Saint Faustina from Poland. Okay, so she, uh, Jesus reveal, uh, revealed to her the message about mercy and asked her to become the secretary uh, of, of, of the Divine Mercy. In, uh, the, in her diary, uh, in section 1182, uh, Jesus said, Your misery does not hinder my mercy. My daughter, write that the greater the misery of a soul, the greater its right to my mercy. All souls to trust in the unfathomable abyss of my mercy, because I want to save them all. Okay, so it's a great, uh, this is a great uh, message to all of us sinners. He, Jesus also asked her to um, pray the chaplet of the divine mercy, to teach people how to pr pray the chaplet of the divine mercy. And in section uh, diary section 848, it's, Jesus said, Oh, what great graces I will grant to souls who say this chaplet, the very depths of my tender mercy, are steered for the sake of those who say the chaplet. Okay, so, um, so I really encourage you to, to, to say the chaplet. Also, uh, Jesus asked her to uh, have this uh, image of the divine mercy with a sign, with a signature at the bottom of Jesus, I trust in you. Of course, also, um, Jesus asked for the novena to the Divine Mercy to be done uh, on good fr that starts on Good Friday and ends on the Saturday before Divine Mercy Sunday. Um, Jesus also asked for this uh, Divine Mercy Sunday to be celebrated on the second Sunday uh, after Easter. So, um, St. Faustina also was brought to heaven, okay? So she saw a vision of heaven. And she says there that, uh, I saw how all creatures give ceaseless praise and glory to God. I saw how great is happiness in God, which spreads to all creatures, making them happy. And then all the glory and praise which springs from this happiness return to its source. And they enter into the depths of God, contemplating the inner life of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom they will never comprehend or fathom, okay? So that's uh, her, her vision of uh, heaven. And um, she was also uh, saw a vision of hell, okay? And there she described the seven types of suffering and, and, uh, and torture. She says that the first torture that constitutes hell is the loss of God. The second is perpetual remorse of conscience. The third is that one's condition will never change. The fourth is the fire that will penetrate the soul without destroying it. A terrible suffering, since it is a pure, purely spiritual fire lit by God's anger. The fifth torture is continual darkness and a terrible suffocating smell. And despite the darkness, the devils and the souls of the damned see each other and all the evil, both of others and their own. The sixth torture is the constant company of Satan. The seventh torture is horrible despair, hatred of God, vile words, curses, and blasphemies. Okay? And um, St. Faustina also saw a vision of purgatory. So in purgatory, she asked the people who were there and, uh, asked, uh, and asked them what was their great suffering. And they answered, and they answered in one voice that their greatest torment was longing for God. Also in that vision of purgatory, uh, St. Faustina saw something beautiful. Our Lady tending to the souls in purgatory. In her diary she wrote, I saw Our Lady visiting the souls in purgatory. The souls call her the star of the sea. She brings them refreshment. So I, 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 um, I really encourage you to read the diary of St. Faustina, okay? Um, Pope John Paul II canonized uh, St. Faustina on Divine Mercy Sunday uh, in year 2000 and called her to be the great apostle of Divine Mercy in our time, okay? And uh, so Pope John Paul also approved the message of Divine Mercy and declared that the Catholic Church would celebrate the second Sunday of Easter as Divine Mercy Sunday. Pope Francis recently also um, made uh, October 5 her optional memorial to be celebrated all over the world. 
So we've already covered St. Maximilian Kolbe, St. John Paul II, and now St. Faustina. And I want you to, I encourage you to watch on YouTube um, the documentary Ocean of Mercy, where it talks about these three saints. They live at the same time during that time in Poland, but they never met, okay? But you see how the Lord used the three of them uh, to really pro uh, promulgate his, his, his mercy throughout the whole world, okay? So I hope you, um, you watch this documentary. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.